Good day, guys. So, I was going to play something else today, but then I thought, no, fuck it. I like this game. And so here we are. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying playing this right now, so I think I'm going to be stuck on this one for a while. So, yeah. In our last adventure, we made it to this... Um, this is pretty much like where we started off originally like when we very first started the game but this is a different one so this is another checkpoint they set up and what i figured we'd do is check this out so we're just we're just going to go in loud we're not going to sneak around we're going to show these zombies who's boss that's how loud we're going in <laughs> the quicker they all come, the better. I do love the uh, the mechanics of this. Like, you know, you make too much noise, zombies come. It's cool. I like... Oh. Oh, it's because I set him on fire. I was like, hang on, does he have fucking hair? <laughs> Oh yeah, he was almost dead. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's this little spot cleared out. We can loot all this on the way back in. It's mostly going to be stuff like timber and metal and all that sort of thing, so... Oh, although this won't be. This will be stuff that's good. Alright, we'll take that. We'll take that. Hang on. Dickhead. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong side. Yeah, I only just got out of bed not long ago. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I got up and I'm like, well, can't hang out with anyone today. Everyone's away. So I'll hang out with my online friends. And that's you guys. You're my friends. So we'll kill zombies together. But yeah, hopefully there's something cool in here. Let's bring him forward. And then blow them up. Oh, we missed one. Alright. Oh shit! Woo! Panic shots. Fucking sneaky little pricks. Oh, big boy. Hang on. Oh yeah! Oh, there's another big boy. Oh. So headshots with the shotgun are good if you can get close enough to blast him with the with the headshot. Oh shit, we've got three trunks here. Alright. We should probably start taking them rifle bullets. I feel like we're gonna get a rifle soon. Oh! 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 Oh my god, that scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh. I hear another one coming. Alright, we'll be ready for this one. Whew, honestly, that fucking startled me so much. Alright, he's getting the shotgun just because his mate scared the shit out of me. Woo! Covered in gore. I should be dripping with blood at this point. Oh, is there something sneaky in here? <laughs> uh, try to sneak up on me, buddy. Oh, let's put some grenades up here. Let's toss some grenades. Grenades make everything fun. Oh, 
Oh. What was that throw? There we go. Oh, really? The zombies must be getting tougher or something. There we go. It's like what them rednecks do on grenade fishing. Let me know in the comments, if you're American, is that a real thing or is that a movie thing? That people actually throw grenades into rivers to get fish? I need to know. If that's legit, it's, it's, it's kind of overkill, but I feel like it would be fun <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Alright, there's a lot of rifle bullets. I feel like we're going to get one soon. Hang on. I didn't think to check all my food and water, did I? Uh, just drink that. And we'll eat this. We'll keep all our shit up. Let's drink one more. And then we'll be basically full. Alright. Close that for the next set of survivors. Alright, so is there nothing else in here or did I miss a turn somewhere? No, I think we went all the way through there. So is there something? Oh yeah, we got houses over there, okay. All right. Oh, check this out. This is a cool little spot. Sit down and watch some telly. Well, this is not... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, what is this room? I'm not a fan of that uh, red upper thing there. That's just bothersome. Oop. Nothing. Alright, hook me up with some food and that. This looks like it's going to be a pretty big adventure today. So I need everything. Alright, let's go, we'll just follow it around, so we don't miss anything. I definitely don't need to pick up more handgun bullets. Oh. Sorry sir. Take, uh, do we need more of those? Oh, we'll take this. Just in case. Oh, shit. Whoa. She's one of them ones she spits gas on you. I've always gotten to them quick enough so far, so you've not seen it yet. Get out there. What's the point in opening the window if I can't climb out? Alright, well that's that house. So we've made one safe zone for another survivor. Oh shit, that's like a proper fucking... Wish I could take the pictures off the wall to put in my train. Okay, there's another safe zone. Okay. 
Okay, so this bloke here, his name is Charles, right? He like, he jammed his garage door and thought he could hide out in here. But as he ran out to here, because you see he started to push the couch against the door, he got bit. So, he didn't make it. Poor Charles. Oh shit. It's so bloody startled sometimes, and then other. Oh sh shit, like that. Whoa. Motherfucker. I honestly wonder if we're gonna find a place where we actually can spend this money. Alright. Oh, okay, what have we got here? Quarantine zone. Is that train tracks? No, it's not. If he ever puts jumping into this, I know it's kind of the style he's going for, like you've got this dodge instead of a jump, but I would love to have a jump. Alright, well there's another safe place. Ooh! You know, I saw something. Uh, how I was complaining about, or... Not complaining, just softly suggesting. How cool it would be if you had like, a car or a, or a bike or something, so you could carry more. Well, I saw you can actually get a robot. <laughs> like, I don't know what sort of world this is where... Zombies infected it, but they have robots. Um, but there's a robot you can get that you can put bags on. Remember I was looking at that um, electronics desk when I built it? Uh, the bags you make... Oh, I don't know if it was the electronics desk or if it was the other one. Engineer's desk? Whatever one it was. But there's... Um, there's a robot you can make and you put those bags on and he comes along with you. And you, uh, yeah, you throw your shit on his back instead. I thought that was pretty cool. So, I have to work out how to do that. We could be looting absolutely everything if we knew how to do that. Um, which, we came in this door, right? I'm just trying to circle the place. Then I won't forget where I was. Am I at the end building now? I am. Alright. Let's just fuel. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Oh, do I have to go all the way around? I can't... There's no exit here. Oh, hang on, here we go. Right, I can hear a zombie inside this house. Oh. Helmet zombie. Oh shit. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh fuck. Woo. God damn. Oh shit. Oh man, scared the shit out of me. 
All right, so old mate here. This is Bruce. And Bruce was chilling in here, drinking some beers. And then he heard a banging on the door. And it was his mate here. This is Jeff. Jeff was trying to get in the door. And Bruce is like, no, Jeff, fuck off, mate. You got bit. And then Jeff changed. But then when Bruce stopped hearing him because Jeff was just chilling here, just like standing here, just being a zombie. And Bruce opened up the door a little bit. And then Jeff bit Bruce on the arm. And then Bruce pushed him out, slammed the door. And then he was stuck in here. And then he changed into a zombie too. So then Bruce and Jeff were both fucked. how it goes in the zombie apocalypse so many stories of survival and and tragedy and god damn bruce had a lot of explosives in his house oh yeah this is where bruce used to sit and smoke his spliffs jeff had come over they'd smoke doobies together it was a sad ending for them both I don't know who this bloke is. He just broke in. Okay, do I keep doing the whole perimeter and then go down the center? Maybe that makes sense. Although some of these middle places are going to have some good shit, I reckon. Oh, shit. Ooh, what's in here? There was supposed to be a zombie boss, but the developer decided to do a character redesign. So it's just a bunch of zombies. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so we were meant to fight a big boss in here. But the developer has started the work on the... I don't know if you remember I said in the first video, but he's reworking all the zombies. So they don't look this cartoony anymore. I kind of like it. It grows on me. Like, whenever I come back to this, like, you first, you know, you first log into the game. And it's like, what the fuck is this? How am I scared of these zombies? But, I mean, they still scare the shit out of you. But yeah, he's reworking the zombies, so apparently there will be a boss here eventually. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, is it grenade time? <laughs> That's how you deal with a shield. Well, I'm hoping we can find a bed in here somewhere. Oh, there's a spitter. Alright, she's a one shot to the head. That's alright. Try to get Captain America here with uh, one grenade. Oh no! Accidentally let go. <laughs> Down, 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 down. All right, now, I did get told from my buddy the other day that I should turn the gamma up. I do have the gamma up. If I turn it up more, it's going to go really uh, crusty looking. I'm trying to shoot him in the foot. Oh, shit. Don't you try and reach for me. Foot shot. God damn it, I wasn't quick enough. Haha! That's how we roll. I think I saw that this has a torch as well, yeah. Ha! 
<laughs> Close up shotgun. Excuse me, sir. No banging on the doors. We're closed. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. We got one behind here, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, fuck. Ooh. God damn it. Reload, reload. Alright, we're gonna get him. Really? How the fuck, man? I think they're getting stronger. I just grenaded the shit out of this bloke. Oh. Did that break his shield? What, did he decide not to make a boss so he gave this bloke more hit points? Fuck. They're gonna break that door through in a minute. How? <laughs> Can you just die already, mate? Alright, I am sorry for the nighttime footage, guys. I'm gonna try and find a bed in a second. I don't know if I can use any old bed. Whoa. He was an angry little sprite, wasn't he? Okay, she was angry. That was Sharon. She got locked in there by accident when the store closed. And when she died from starvation, she uh, changed. There's no downstairs in this shop then. I wish there was like, cause there's no sleeping bag. So what I'm going to do, guys, is after that epic battle, I'm just going to... I'm either going to stay out the night in one of the buildings and just let it go past until daytime, or uh, I'll walk back to the train. But I won't make you watch this darkness. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute to continue our adventure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.